from the Magnolia Homes Volume 2 Cookbook, and this recipe is called Friends Giving <laughs> Casserole. We're going to start out with three tablespoons of unsalted butter, and we're going to heat it up over medium heat. And then, y'all seen earlier when I was chopping up um, onions and celery. So we're adding about a half a cup of chopped up celery and a half of an onion. We're going to add to this. And we're going to let it cook until um, everything's translucent, maybe about six to nine minutes it says. And then we will move on to the other step. And I was showing you a few minutes ago that I had a rotisserie chicken. And this is all the chicken I shredded off of there. Um, it called for five cups. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be five cups, so I may be a little shy on that, but it'll be okay. It's just me and my two youngest tonight. So I'm going to let this melt, and then we'll move on. <clears throat> I'm going to add in my celery and onions. for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay y'all, while the um, onions and stuff are cooking, I have one baguette. Um, it says tw you're supposed to tear it into one inch pieces. It should be about six cups. I missed this one part. It said I was supposed to lay the torn bread on a sheet pan and place it in a warm oven until dried out for about one hour. I did not know that until I was ready to start cooking, but I got this on sale so it's it's probably already a little dried out. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna quickly just kind of, um, I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna get this bowl here and I'm just gonna tear the, this into pieces. Yeah, it is pretty dry already. Okay, y'all, got it all tore up. So now I'm gonna head back over to the stove. I'm going to bring y'all in over on this side now. Again, I kind of look these. may have cooked a little bit. I don't know. I think they're okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one clove. One clove of minced garlic. I just, oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to steam up. I'm going to add one clove of minced garlic. Close and um, two tablespoons of flour, and we're gonna whisk uh, this together. One, here's two. You get my whisk. And we're gonna start whisking this together. Whisk it continuously for about one minute. You don't wanna let it burn, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start adding in, um, it called for a um, one teaspoon of garlic salt, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna put a little less, maybe that's about three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, it calls for one teaspoon of regular salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Measure, that's pretty close to it. That. And then we're then we're going to add in one and a half cups of whipping cream or heavy cream. So I'm going to start doing that right now. One. Here's the half. And on this, we're going to cook it, whisking often, until it starts to simmer. We're going to do it for about five minutes. Oops, I'm making a mess, y'all. I've been watching Kristen Casper. I watch her a lot. And, uh, She's been using the Magnolia cookbook a lot, and so I went out and got both versions, or both, yeah, both the volumes, I guess you'd say. And so I've got several recipes that I'm planning to try, and I recommend the cookbook. I'll have a link to where you can purchase it down below, 
but um, yeah, I'm excited. And I'm hoping that this will turn out good. I've never made anything like this, but we're gonna see. It sounded good and I'm wanting to try new things. And I've got several desserts I wanna try out of this book that sounds so good. I'm going to take this off the heat. Okay, now I've got a 9 by 13 inch pan and I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to spread that out. And like I said, y'all, I may not have exactly five cups of chicken, but let's hope it will still be good. Okay. And then we're going to take one cup of sour cream and we're going to put it over the top of the chicken. To take the cream sauce and we're going to pour this over the chicken. Y'all, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. I'm going to sprinkle the bread over the top of this. I didn't use all the bread, y'all, because it seemed like I had too much. I'm quickly going to rinse out this pan because I need to melt some butter and add some chicken broth. Okay, y'all, now I'm going to melt four more tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm just going to do it the same way, just over medium heat. And then we're going to add two cups of chicken broth and um, just let that kind of warm and then we're going to pour it over the bread um, in a casserole. Then we're going to put it in the oven. So I'm going to get this melted and then now we're over here with our mixture. So we're going to pour, I'm going to go ahead and pour this or drizzle this kind of over the bread. Or, bake this uncovered and um, it said 325 for about um, 30 minutes so I'm gonna put that in and I'll be back in a little okay y'all it's all done I sprinkled some pepper on it I turned it on broil for not even quite three minutes it started getting dark and now I've got some chopped green onions it said or you can put some both parsley in this on top I don't have any fresh parsley but I did have chopped green onions so I'm just gonna sprinkle Sorry, <laughs> my I took it out before the timer was up, and I decided because I it's just me and the kids. Um, I'm just making some instant mashed potatoes to go alongside it, so we will let you know what we think about it. Okay, y'all, I have started eating mine, and it is good. Courtney, how was it? Good. Good. Adrian, how you like it, baby? What? Stop it. <laughs> how do you like it? It's good. Y'all, I mean, it wasn't really that hard. It's, it's goodish. Whatever. There was some, you know, no, steps no. that you had to do to it, but it, overall, it wasn't too hard because the chicken was already cooked because it was a rotisserie. You just had to make basically the sauce up. So, yep, y'all, pretty good. <laughs> hey, y'all. I thought I would come back and tell y'all an update on what the kids thought. Okay, when Courtney first started eating this, she loved it, but the part with the bread i guess um i don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if maybe i should have cooked it a little bit longer but the top bread of course got crispy from being um under the broiler but then the bread underneath that that soaked up the chicken breast i mean chicken broth was a little bit mushy and so she didn't really like the consistency of that but she liked everything else about it adrian like just the chicken part basically he didn't like the bread part because he said he didn't like the crunchy part or the mushy part me i thought it was good all the way through but my both of my kids said that so you know i want to keep it real with y'all 
So I thought I'd get back on here and tell y'all. But overall, it was good. And maybe if I'd have cooked it a little bit longer, maybe it wouldn't have, maybe it would have dried that up a little. I don't know. Or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. If you've made this before, let me know down in the comments if that's the way it's supposed to be. But anyways, we'll see you in a little bit for the next meal. Tonight, I'm going to start out showing you this really cool three-blade handheld spiralizer that was sent to me by the company Adoric. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Adoric? Adoric? I don't know. Anyways, they sent me this really cool spiralizer. I've never even used one before. And this is what it looks like. It ha I just washed it. But you get the choice between, I don't know if you can see that, it has one and two and reset of what size of blade you want to use which i'm not really sure the difference um i guess i'll see when i start using it and then it has this to help you when you get toward the end so instead of doing you know the typical zucchini noodles and things i decided to do um some baked like fried potato or baked potato spiralized baked potato sorry so i've got a few potatoes here i've already peeled them and we're going to give this a try like I said, I've never, never done this before. So I'm guessing you just, all right, there we go. Let's see. Is it working? Let's see. Oh, it's kind of making them wide. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're supposed to be like that. Maybe I'm supposed to do it the other way. Oh, I forgot to press the button, y'all. <laughs> okay. I'll put this on here. See what happens. Oh, I see. And now it's does the first ones look kind of like that. We're gonna do a few like that. I'm gonna try to zoom y'all in a little bit better. So this is what they kind of look like with that one. I'm going to reset it and I'm going to try the number two setting. See what it does. And I don't know, maybe it would help if I use this to kind of hold it. And then that makes them a little bit thinner, I guess. I think I'll go back to number one. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Like I said, I don't know. There it goes. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and set out a paper, a couple paper towels because that way it'll kind of soak up some of this moisture in the potatoes. And then I'm just going to keep on doing it. I will look up on their website and um, how much this actually cost because I don't know they sent it to me so I never actually seen the price but I will have that go across the screen here for you along with I'll have that code and I'm just going to continue on and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to season okay, y'all. I have them all spiralized and I have a pan here the parchment paper I have didn't quite reach to the end but it'll be okay so what I'm going to do is I've got some olive oil I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this over it, just kind of. And then I'm also going to sprinkle some salt and pepper kind of over it. And then we're going to toss all this in just a minute. And then I also have some garlic and onion powder.
and I have my oven preheated to 400 and so like I said we're going to kind of toss all this together so I'm going to stick that in the oven and then we're going to move on to the next thing that's going to go with tonight's okay, supper I'm going to get started on the next thing for supper or dinner. I say supper a lot. Um, I'm going to be making, I believe they're called Cheesy Ranch uh, Little Smokies. So, I'm going to start out melting four tablespoons of butter. I'm using salted butter, if I can speak. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the microwave so it can be melting. And then I'm going to show you what we'll do. After. Okay, y'all. I have um, an eight ounce container of crescent roll. Actually, this time I have the crescent dough sheet. So I'm going to, um, I just wiped off this counter. I'm going to kind of dry it because we're going to use this spot. It's clean. I'm just going to dry it off. I'm going to get actually a pizza cutter. We're going to open this up and then we're going to cut little triangles. Oops, that's probably not that straight. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of cut some little triangles. Oh man, that one was not good. Um, okay. <laughs> so, have my, <laughs> my little triangles that I'm gonna use. And I also am gonna get some cheese. Just now, I have some cheddar cheese. I just have the mild cheddar cheese, the Walmart brand, the great value. This and we're gonna slice some pieces that we're gonna use in this. So I'm not gonna do them real thick. Maybe like that. Next. I have a package of the Hillshire Farms Beef Little Smokies. So I'm going to open that up and we're going to begin assembling these. I also have a, a baking sheet that I've lined with, lined with some parchment paper that we're going to put these on. And my oven is preheated to 400 already. I have those potatoes in there. So we're going to start assembling. Let me make sure I got it all where y'all can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna take our little triangle. I'll zoom y'all in a little bit more. And then we're gonna take a little smoky, a piece of cheese, and then we're just gonna roll it up like this. And then I'm gonna lay it on my pan. And we're just gonna continue doing that. I've got my butter here and I'm going to add two teaspoons of ranch seasoning and I have a package that I already had opened for something else so I'm going to measure out two teaspoons and add to these four tablespoons of melted butter so, one and two so I'm going to mix this up real good Okay, and next we're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Um, so I just have the grated Parmesan. I'm just gonna kinda just sprinkle. And we're gonna put these in our 400 degree oven and let it cook 14 to 16 minutes or until the dough is browned and cooked through. So we're gonna add that in there with our potatoes. Okay, y'all, I've got my plate made up. Um, the potatoes don't quite look like I thought they would, but they appear to be done, and there are the little smokies. The cheese kind of melted out on them. <laughs> and then I got each of the kids two with some. So I'm gonna get them in here, and we're gonna try, and we'll let you know what we think. Y'all, Courtney. 
I was cleaning up and then I realized I never got anybody's reaction. So what did you think of the food tonight? She's eating a piece of chocolate. What'd you think about it? The food. <laughs> oh, Her there. birthday is tomorrow on Thursday, by the way. She's gonna be 12. Can anybody see you when you get that close? Okay, there, now. Um. The potatoes tasted just like hash browns. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. So it's nothing really different than hash browns, though. And the little smoky things. Um, I don't really like smoky, like the meat, though I still <laughs> ate it. And though I really like the bread and the cheese because the bread was really crispy and stuff. And I like toasty bread. Yeah, I thought it was all of it was really good. We were dipping it in ranch. For some reason, she didn't want, she didn't really eat all the weenie part of it. But for an easy, meal. <laughs> yeah, for an easy meal, it was really yeah. good. So. You can have this on like a lunch, like and like how how long did the weenies take? Mm, Fifteen minutes. How long did the potatoes take? Almost thirty, twenty-five. Oh. So like, if you want a meal in like thirty to forty-five minutes, then yep. there you go. All and right, it's good. Oh, alrighty. Thank you. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, y'all. Tonight's recipe is coming from the Magnolia table volume two cookbook i'm starting out with um a bowl and i'm going to put seasonings in it two tablespoons of light brown sugar a half a tablespoon of ground cumin a half a tablespoon of chili powder followed by one teaspoon of onion powder i got a little bit ahead of myself on this <laughs> Then you're also going to need a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground mustard powder, one teaspoon of pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And once you get all your seasonings in there, just get a whisk and whisk those all together well. And then you can use a three pound boneless pork shoulder or butt roast. I have the pork shoulder roast. Um, it says to trim the fat. I did not do that. But anyways, you're going to want to put all your seasoning over the top of the roast. Place it into your crock pot. And I just took the rest of the seasoning and poured it over the top. Then you're going to take one cup of apple juice and one cup of water. And pour that over your roast. And then all you have to do is put the lid on it, turn it on low, and let it cook for anywhere from six to eight hours. Hey y'all, we have been gone all day. I put this on, it was close to nine o'clock. It is now 4.30, so that means it's been on like seven hours, seven and a half hours, and I'm going to check this. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh yeah, especially what was down in the liquid is Ooh, look at that. Mmm. I'm going to let it continue to cook a little bit, but I'm going to kind of break it apart a little bit more. We're not going to eat probably for a couple more hours. That way this can even get more tender because I'm surprised it's not as tender as I thought it would be. Okay y'all, it's been cooking for a couple more hours because I wanted it to be nice and um, I wanted it to just shred easy. I'm just right now looking at any pieces of fat because I know there was a layer of fat kind of along the back side. So I'm going to pull this out, some of the pieces that I see right away and I'm going to shred this up and just leave it in this sauce. Mmm, it smells so good, y'all. Finish shredding this and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we have our meat and then I warmed up our, our tortilla shells. We have our Texas, Texas salsa. Texas, Texas. I sliced up or diced up a little bit of red or purple onion. <laughs> we have some cheese and we're gonna all sit down and eat some chips. Adrian, sit down. We're just gonna eat over here because it's easier and then we'll come back in a minute and let you know what we think oh and it's this girl's birthday she is 12 today 
All right, birthday girl. How do you like these tacos? They're good. I didn't um, think I would like the corn, corn tortillas because normally we have just flour like burritos. Though they're actually pretty good. They're you can eat these like just a couple of them, you know, for a snack or lunch or mm -hmm. dinner or anything. And, and she got some chips and, like, and salsa. And I got some chips and eat your taco over the chips because all like the juice and stuff like comes out goes on the chips and it tastes good. Adrian, how did you like it? He ate one like a taco and then he ate some of the meat just plain. Yeah, I like it. It's good. And then <laughs> can go. I'm still eating Bullfrog on my plus snake hunting. And this is good. Huh? What? I'm going bullfrog and snake hunting. He's silly, y'all. And tonight, silly. when I get back from where we're going to my grandma's, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go out when it's dark with a, a headlamp <laughs> and try to find the frogs, which they don't move because they're asleep at that time. <laughs> um, 10. You ain't gonna be out there at 10. Nine, not by yourself. Nine. I know. Yo. Um, and the <laughs> snake eyes. So, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so back. silly. What? No, I'm serious. Oh, yeah. Um, if you watched my, well, actually, yeah. By the time this video goes up, my what's for dessert video will have already premiered. So, and so, um, tonight for her birthday cake, we're going to have this lazy cookies, which if you haven't watched it yet, it's on the what's for dessert video that I had up this Friday. And so. Because we never got around to buying birthday cakes, we forgot about it, so we're just going to eat that. Because I like chocolate chips and stuff like that. Yep. And cookies. Yep. So she's had a pre oh, this is some of her new stuff she got today. This shirt. I got this shirt that and has little sunflowers and it's tie dye. And these little shorts. These shorts. She okay. got some some fake nails. It's five dollar general for five dollars and they've been staying on so good. Yeah. Um I also got some um perfume. I got a little perfume from um a what's it called? Rue twenty one. Rue twenty one. It looks like it's a yellow bottle and it has like I think like flower petal, petals or something in it, and it's yellow, and it has like a little butterfly topper, and it smells amazing. And it wasn't even that bad of a price; it was like thirteen dollars. Yeah. And um, we got little these little candies. Um, um she also got. I got snow cone, Taco Bell. Yeah, her favorites, and she also um <laughs> bought at Claire's a little phone uh -huh. case because her cousin is sending her her old iPhone. Oh look, she's gonna go run and get it, y'all. Okay, guys. So I went to Claire's. Because the phone get, I'm getting is an iPhone. But let me show y'all what I got. Oh yeah, Adrian got some real Crocs today. He's proud. Um, so this is a iPhone six, seven, eight plus. I don't know which is it. Like which one was it? The six. Plus? I don't remember. So the six plus. or the seven is what I they gave her. I want a see-through case because <laughs> a lot of my friends and stuff they put little pictures and quotes and stuff behind the case and money and stuff to make it look cool. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find just a clear one, though I found this one that is so cute. Yeah. It has little flowers. It's and so cute. Little glitter pieces. And and it feels really nice. I took it out the um, container earlier. and So she's excited. Cool. That's coming in the mail from her cousin. They said the latest it should be here by Monday. Though but I maybe it'll like come it sooner. Could here. Uh, it could be oh, here. Oh, and don't forget. Here. What else did you buy? We got. Okay, so you see that plant in the white vase? That one is the one Mama got the other day, and that was the one in the silver little container. It's real. That's Buddy. That's Buddy, and we na named the other one Gina. <laughs> it's very pokey. So let me, you mess let me with zoom him, out. Okay. It's very pokey. So if you mess with him, he will kill you. <laughs> and Gina is just peaceful over here. Yeah. We gave them water earlier. So we're gonna see if we can keep these alive. Yeah, right? because Mama had plans before and she couldn't. She couldn't keep them. Alive. So we're gonna try better. They say these are supposed to be easy. So, we're, we're gonna be anyways, y'all, <laughs> we'll let you go now. Yeah.